So hey guys, what's this again? I'm super happy, I need to explain, uh, Huion sent me another tablet for review. So this is a sponsored review. They did send me the tablet for free, and they wanted me to do my review on it since I did my last one. And so it's the same little thank you card as last time. And I'm feeling a little better this time around, but I wanted to point a couple of things out that I like that were already different. Um, one, this isn't really a blind unboxing. I tried recording this earlier, and the blind unboxing part uh, didn't record properly, so it's not 100% blind, but I want to bring up a couple of things that weren't in the last one. So one, thank you card, that's still the same, but this box, this isn't the main Huion tablet box, but they really upped their um, shipping quality. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word. But uh, it actually came in this box, which came in another box, and then that had the Huion box, which is this tablet, which is the uh, Cavamus GT. Yeah, you can you can read the numbers. But I'm really happy with this because when they sent me the other tablet, it was in a normal Amazon box, but it was just this box, and it was already opened while this box had both sides taped. So. That made me really happy. Um, I think another reason for it is this tablet is much more expensive than the last one they sent me. This is, as you can see, it's a face tablet like my Cintiq. So let's get this baby open. Also, sorry in advance for the cuts. I don't have my normal camera guy with me, which is Cody, because he is asleep. So this is the tablet, and it is 15 inches, I believe it said. I'll have the specs on the screen, but... Um, I was super excited to get this because my Cintiq is a 13 inch, so this is this is still bigger than my Cintiq. <laughs> and I realized, I think I have this... Do I have this upside down? <laughs> I think I might have it upside down. I do have it upside down. Okay. I mean, it's just how I like setting it up. So, it comes with hotkeys, which I like a lot. It comes with this thing. I don't really know what this is, but it has two hotkeys here and two here and uh, two wheels, actually. Which I think is interesting, because the Cintiq only has one wheel right here, and I'll compare those in a minute. So, let me get this little baby out. I don't know how vloggers do this. One-handed is a pain. Okay. So, here is the tablet. Be very careful with it. <laughs> I'll put it over there. And then, that's what this little protection thingy. And it comes with the stand, which I find funny because I really like the Cintiq stand, so I'm happy it came with a stand like that. Uh, I heard a lot of people shit on the Huion stand, so I really enjoy these types of stands. I don't know, for my work it works. So here's the little stand plate. Here are the different outlet charger things, which I think are cool because this way you can, like, if you have different outlets and plugs you can plug it into the device because uh, a lot of people don't know that but the American outlet isn't the like universal outlet so I think that's really cool they come with different modes you can put it in and then this I'm just assuming is just the plug-in if I can <laughs> no this is probably a lot easier with two hands yeah this is the plug-in oh my god is it only one cord I swear to okay no there's gonna have to be a USB somewhere but I'm assuming this is the plug-in for the power, obviously, because most people don't realize with face tablets you need power. Here is the pin. <laughs> oh, and they sent me a glove this time. How nice. And what's this? Oh, and a cloth. Yes, and a disc. Oh, okay. I like discs. People people don't like discs anymore. I like having physical discs. So that here on to make me a happy camper. So that's cool. It comes with a little cleaning cloth. Uh, I'm guessing that's a how-to booklet. Comes with a glove, which I already have a bunch of. And... Let me see this pretty pen! Because I don't know if it's a battery pen like the last one, or if it's a chargeable pen, like the other Huion's. So... Okay, it looks... It looks like Anna's pen, which is the rechargeable one. Which I believe is what it is. So it comes with different nibs, and it's got buttons. Oh yay, they're raised buttons. Okay, I like I like me some raised buttons. So I'll put that in there. I like the little carrying case. I wish it came with a stand like my Cintiq one does, but maybe it doesn't. It's just under here. 
Oh, yep, this, so there's the wires, and... Oh, it does come with a second pen, if I can get the pen out there. So that's really cool. Now, I'm going to set this tablet up, but I also want to show and compare the sizes real quick. So I'm happy it comes with two pens, so that probably tells me these are really rechargeable pens. So, so we go on my desk, but this is my Wacom Cintiq 13 HD, and then here is the Huion, so you can see the size difference. This is the 13 HD, and then this is, this is 15 inches for the canvas something something numbers. So, they're going to see me in a minute. Well, I set this baby up. So, wow, okay, it is the speed paint portion of the video. Just like last time, the speed paint you're watching was completely made with the Huey on, with the tablet they gave me. And I feel I should explain. Uh, the first thing you're seeing is me starting off with just doing some little warm-up doodles, testing it out, getting to learn the tablet. Because this tablet really is extremely sensitive compared to what I'm used to. Not that the Cintiq is bad, just that they really weren't kidding when it came to the like 8,000 plus feelings of pressure sensitivity. So even though they did send me this this tablet for review, I have let Huey on know that I'm going to still be honest in 100% of my opinions in this video. So I'm going to do pros and cons, which there aren't that many, but this isn't going to be a solely perfect review. In the future, if anyone wants to send me anything, know that I'm not going to just give someone an amazing review if they throw nice things at me or if they pay me because I feel like that's not fair. And I've always found those reviews to be kind of fake because you can totally tell in lots of communities when people get art supplies and they're like, art supplies are books or products, and they're like, oh, wow, this is so great. And then you never see them use them ever again. And that's something that's always been like, well, it can't be that great. You're never using it. So let's get right into it. Um, I guess I'll go into the negative issues first just because that's what's stuck in my mind. And the first one was the setup was very weird. By that, I don't know if it was my computer because I'd also been having some computer problems this past couple months for a few guys who know. But when I tried downloading it from the disc they gave me, which was a tiny disc, they came with a mini disc, while the other tablet they sent me was a normal size disc, it did not want to download properly off the disc. I don't know why. I had to restart my computer a couple times. It just didn't want to. So I ended up having to go to their website to download the drivers to get the Huey on to work. And once I got that done, everything was fine and dandy. Obviously, though, I had to remove my, t my Cintiq. I had to remove all of the tablet drivers before putting this on. Another one they always say is make sure all of your art programs are closed when you're downloading the driver. I did that, but I just still think that's a little weird. But whatever, that's just me. Um, another one is there is no eraser. This is a chargeable pen. That's why they send you two. Um, the good thing is I've been using this tablet for about, I'll say, I've been using this tablet for about, I'll say, a week now, give or take. And... Well, I really liked it, I caught myself constantly flipping the pen because I am one of those weirdos who actually uses the eraser on the Wacom pen and I have for over 10 plus years because even though I've only had my Cintiq for about five years, I had a Wacom Intuos Large that I had for much longer. So I'm used to that. It's kind of just motor memory. So I constantly caught myself doing that with the pen and with the fact that the pen is lighter, it would like fling out of my hand a couple of times. Other than that, um, the setup was a little hard to get s situated when I'm used, to, again, I was used to Wacom, which is why I'm comparing this because it's what I know. And when I was sub uh, downloading the drivers and downloading everything with my Wacom, things automatically popped up to be like, okay, you got everything downloaded, now let's calibrate your tablet. While the Huey on one does not do this. It just kind of booted up the drivers and then this tablet was ready to go. And I had to go and look into it. I had to, like, search on my computer to calibrate the screen, to calibrate the pen, to do pressure sensitivity, to mess with that, to set hotkeys. While, again, my Wacom just kind of, that was the first thing that popped up when I had everything done. And I had to look up how to set up the screen resolution because when I first turned it on, it was very dull and I was confused because they talk about how it's very bright, vibrant, and, you know, HD. But when I turned it on, it was dull. And after messing with the brightness, the contrast, and other settings, 
it was extremely beautiful. The screen resolution's great. They really aren't kidding, but it's the fact that I had to fiddle with those settings and there was nothing that told me I had to. Granted, yes, it was in the book they sent, but it wasn't one of the first things you read. It was like on the bottom of the page on like after you have everything set up, which again was weird because, you know, if you don't know what you're looking for, you're not going to know to do that. Like if this is your very first tablet, you're going to be completely lost and confused. I was having a couple of driver issues that I found other people were having, so that's a thing too, but apparently it's a rare issue, so I'm leaning more towards that it's my equipment because my equipment is very old and outdated. Uh, my laptop is well, almost five years old, I think, at this time, and for some people that might that might not seem like a long time, but for someone like me who uses it every day who uses it for constant hours every day, who's always working on it, that's kind of, that does beat down on a laptop. So there's that. Some really great pros where the hotkeys are really great. I actually really love the hotkeys. While it sounds weird on my Cintiq, I only ever used two hotkeys and that was undo and uh, undo and redo. That was it. With all the hotkeys this has, I was able to like, oh, op- I was able to have like open new canvas, open program, control my canvas, save my canvas. It was really, really great. Um, another one was that I really like the stand. Again, I brought up when I unboxed it. I like it because with the screen resolution and how I sit, um, I'm able to actually sit up straight and I'm able to have perfect posture. With my Cintiq, I can't have that because my Cintiq is small. It's a great it's a great tablet, but I'm not one of those people that can draw in my lap. Like I need to have a desk, I need to be looking at it. So with its screen resolution, I always hunch over. With the Huey on, I don't. So I was able to actually like sit up straight, have good posture, draw with it. Um the pressure sensitivity is amazing. It's extre uh that took a while for me to actually get used to, so I took breaks while making this picture because I was just getting used to the pressure sensitivity. Not that I didn't have high pressure sensitivity on my Cintiq, it's just uh, this was like a whole new ballpark. Uh, inking was completely different, sketching was completely different. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. Um, the screen did get a little warm at times, and like I said also, um, the the driver issues were becoming a bit of a pain. But again, I've heard people have that, some people haven't had that. So that seems like it's a really rare occurrence that happens sometimes. Um, other than that, the setup was easy. But now you're probably going to be asking, well, Michelle, what's your opinion on it? What do you think about it? Well, I do recommend this tablet. I do think it's a great tablet for the first week or so of testing it. And by that, I'm going to explain. I'm going to keep using this tablet, but... I don't have a lot of free time right now. Cody and I are going to be going on vacation soon. So I don't really have a lot of time just to play around with the tablet. I do have work to do. So I'm going to, once I get back, test out this tablet more once my work is done and really get to use it because I really enjoyed using this tablet. I think it was great. Uh, I didn't realize how small my Cintiq was until using this tablet. I didn't realize how bright the contrast was compared to my, my Cintiq to my normal computer screen. Um, I really do like the advanced pressure sensitivity. I like the hotkeys. Um, I, besides those driver issues, I had nothing wrong with it. I thought it was great. Recording it was easy. Um, but I do have to say, I do not, I repeat, I do not recommend this tablet for a first time buyer. I don't. One, the price is still amazing. You can't, you cannot beat that price, but Like I was saying, with the installation and with the driver issues and with the setup, the only reason I wasn't freaking out was because I've been using and being a digital artist using a graphics tablet for years that I knew what to look for. I knew what to search on my computer. A first-timer isn't going to know that. They're not. And I don't see a lot of people talking about that, so... I'm very happy they sent this to me. I do recommend this. Um, I will also be doing an update in about like a month or so of using it. Uh, you know, my final perfect thoughts on it, seeing how great it works. Um, I'm also going to be upgrading my computer a bit, uh, not my physical setup, but I'm going to be upgrading my RAM and stuff. So hopefully that will also help with the driver issues. And if you guys would like one, if you want the price, again, this is nearly 
half the price of my Cintiq, which is also a big thing Huey On's known for, is it's you're getting really good bang for your buck. And another friend of mine has the bigger version of this tablet, and she's been using it nonstop and hasn't had any issues. So again, it varies from person to person. Huey On also has amazing customer support. They're one of the best customer supports I've ever had to deal with. Um, trying to deal with Wacom has been a pain in the past, and I think that's just because they are such a big company. And so if you, um, again, if you, I was rambling, but if you would like to get info on I have an Amazon link they gave me below. Click it. They've got all the info there. They've got reviews there, my reviews there. And I think I'll let the music take it away for what's left. And as always, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.